social selling is really leveraging social networks to develop sales. Welcome back to the Strategic Selling Group, the sales masterminds, everybody out there that loves these videos. Well, I do anyway. Welcome back. I have with me today uh, somebody I'm delighted to have. It's Luke Simon. Hello, John. <laughs> Hello, Luke. Luke's got a great background. For those in IT, Luke worked in IBM most of your career, Luke? 36 years. 36 years. Yeah. And here he is now, a social selling expert, because you leveraged social selling a lot in your latter years in IBM. Yeah, didn't I didn't you? know it was called social selling, by the way, some <laughs> years ago, when I was evangelizing cloud and SaaS, you know, in IBM. <laughs> and now Luke's driving the social selling forum, particularly in, in France. Uh, you run 12 in the last two yeah. years. Uh, and driving significant change in thinking and looking at how social is leveraged in the B2B sales world, particularly in complex sales. Complex sales, especially. Complex sales. So I'm going to have a number of discussions with Luke, and I really hope you get a lot of value out of these. So again, welcome, Luke. And first, I wanted to know... Yeah? What, for you, what is social? Give us a bit of a well, definition. And, and why do you think it's that important? Yeah, very simple. Social selling is really leveraging social networks to develop sales. That's what it is. Social selling, leveraging social networks to develop sales. And each word is important. You don't sell on social. So it's leveraging social. It's social networks. It's not social media or whatever. It's not about communication and marketing and this kind of stuff. It's really social network, network. Yeah, some of my friends, I say, I'm very active on, on Twitter. And they go, what do you really want to be on Twitter for? Well, Twitter's a very powerful tool in the business sales world. But Which most other? people only see it on television with shows and that sort of stuff. They don't understand the value. Yeah. So it's leveraging social networks. And the objective is to develop sales at the end, to sell yourself, to sell your services, your products, whatever, especially in a B2B complex sales environment. This is what social selling is. I'm learning more and more about social selling. And, and I think there's a lot of people out there are very reluctant to embrace it. They see it wasting time. They see salespeople putting a lot of time into social and not getting the return. And yet you're telling me, and I, I've just recently interviewed others like uh, Adam Gray, etc., yeah. that are telling us that salespeople are getting amazing results with social. For sure. But anyway, social selling is just doing what I was already doing when I was 23 years old in IBM, leveraging reference selling, uh, referral selling, yeah, you know. Referrals, yeah. Trigger selling. And inside Sorry, selling. what was the second one? Trigger. Trigger. Trigger selling. Trigger selling. Trigger. And, yeah, trigger. Yeah. I, I, I've got to say, Luke's doing a great I'm job. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a French, he's, yeah. and he lives in France, yeah. uh, and he's out here in Australia, and he's learning how to speak Australian. <laughs> trigger. 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 Trigger selling. So referral selling, trigger selling, and inside selling. You know, this kind of aha moment that our prospects need to have. So when I was young in IBM, I was already leveraging these three types of selling, you know. And now with social, I can have an exoskeleton, meaning that I'm 10 times as effective in leveraging referrals because anybody can refer, refer me uh, on social. They know me a little bit is what we call the weak links, you know, the people who just know you through LinkedIn or through any, any sort of social networks. And then they refer you to prospect, they mention you, they tag you, they bring you to businesses. Yeah. So that's the first thing. Why, the first reason why I should leverage social because I was not able to do it 30 years ago. I am now. Trigger selling. I find a lot of triggers online, oh. a lot of triggers. Yeah. People leave a lot of breadcrumbs ar ar around them, you know? And so you can do a trigger selling much better than, than what I did to, again 30 years ago. And the same for inside selling. I know everything about my prospects by going online. I and when I call them for the first time, for example, or they call me, by the way, I have already capability to make them do this. Oh, yeah. That's what I should be doing, the epiphany, you know, the epiphany, the, the insight that the prospect is able to get. So that's why I think it would be a mistake not to leverage social today. Of course, you don't do only social. You do also email, you do also events like social selling forum, you do also telephone, yeah, very important. But social, not having it in your, in your whatever, is crazy. Look, it, look, it's almost like you're saying sales hasn't changed. We've just got this tool that helps us do it better. 
It has changed still because our customers have changed by being hyper-connected today. With internet, with the cloud, with mobile, with uh, uh, artificial, with everything that and we have. And that's one of the reasons social is so important now, because it, it, sometimes you can't connect to old, like in, through the old mediums, but social now is where they're at, the customer's at. Absolutely, they are hyper-connected. And by the way, the second reason why you should do social selling is because they don't want to meet any more sales reps, just regular sales reps who want to push their stuff under the throat, you know. Feature function benefits. Yeah, selling, whatever. Gone, it's finished. Right? Yeah. As you know, mm. you are sales mastermind, so you know all these kind of things. So, okay. So typically, that's the second reason. The, the customers do not want to see us anymore. They do half of their of their research online, etc. And you have to. But, but as a seller, you have to be positioned in the mind of your prospects before even they start their buying journey. So that's the second reason why you should leverage social, is to be positioned alongside the buying journey of your customers. Part of your personal brand, if you like, and how are you going to leverage that brand? Uh, absolutely. We okay. Yeah. Look, look, there's a lot of great content there, but what I want to do is drill down in some of those areas. So let's come back together yeah. uh, and have another discussion, and, and we'll drill down probably in being more specific about why, and then I'd like to talk about how people can master social selling without getting consumed by it from a time point of view. Absolutely. 20 minutes per day. 20 minutes Could a day. Could be okay. There you go. With this. 20 minutes a day is going to change your life. If you're not using social and B2B, Loic will, will tell us in one of our future interviews how to really leverage social 20 minutes a day. I'm looking forward to that, Loic. Thank you. Thank John. you for your time.